Hey guys, Dennis here. I'm with John Roca. What's up? An X Men lover. Uh, yeah. We're here back again. Yes. Doing, doing trailer reactions. <laughs> this time. Yeah, Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. Finally, this trailer has come out. 7,500 reshoots, and now finally we get a trailer. Uh, and I'm kind of looking forward to it, but a little trepidatious about what we're going to see. Well, it's interesting because this, this kind of production has been mired with a lot of troubles mm -hmm. because originally Brian Singer was going to do it, yeah. you know, and he had wanted to kind of uh, do his own version because Brett Ratner had done uh, X Men 3, which right. had the Dark Death Stand, yeah. you know, had the Dark Phoenix like storyline mm -hmm. in there. Uh, so he wanted to do it, then he fell out, and then we have Simon Kinberg, right. who's, this is his directorial debut. A lot to uh, take on. He's, he's done a lot of writing for mm -hmm. X-Men. He did, a, he wrote Apocalypse, he wrote Days of Future Past, mm -hmm. he wrote stuff like Fantastic Four. So he's, he's fully in the, the Fox Marvel universe. Yeah. And so this should be very interesting, especially because, you know, the Dark Phoenix saga in the comic books is, is when they're much older. Yeah. And they're utilizing them as, you know, mm -hmm. younger as, as we saw in Apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. They're much more entrenched as a team in the Dark Phoenix storyline. It occurs in space. A lot of what happens there is through space. And then it gets connected to so many other things in terms of lineage mm -hmm. with the X-Men. So there's a lot that goes on with the Dark Phoenix saga. Um, and so I'm curious to see what Kinberg has done here mm -hmm. to create it. And we've seen, obviously, a lot of pictures of these characters, uh, like Jessica Chastain coming mm -hmm. into the... A fold here, so we'll see what's All up. All right, let's check it yeah. out. Okay. You think you can fix me? Gene, you are not broken. Yes. Little young Gene, huh? Okay. Baby Gene, interesting. The mind is a fragile thing. It takes only the slightest tap to tip it in the wrong direction. Charles, what did you do? I had to keep her stable. No. Oh. I protected her. So now that hmm, interesting. Oh, damn. There's another word for that. Why is he always getting persecuted in these films, Charles? <laughs> like, I don't see anyone else stepping up to lead. Well, I mean. You feel like you don't belong here. Oh, there we go, Jessica Chester. Don't. They can't begin to comprehend. What you are. She's changing. Oh, shit. sorry about that. And what? You didn't come here looking for answers. You came here looking for. Oh, people. nice! The old X Men uniforms. Jeez. Nice! That's the old school. Yeah. She's all rage, pain. And it's all coming out at once. Oh, space stuff, okay. Jean lost control. Is she still our friend? This is your fault, Charles. The world is on the brink. I'm sorry. I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. Right. <laughs> but nobody cares. <laughs> there's still hope. Don't do oh, this. Oh, wow. The beast with the ex with the needle. They're right to fear me. He's dead. Oh. I've seen evil. I'm looking at it now. Interesting. Wow. Hmm. All right, February 14th. This film is not rated. Nope. Yeah, hmm. It's... Great logo. I love that logo. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I thought it was all right. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I did, you know, it didn't like grab me and say, oh mm. my God, this is, you know, the Dark Phoenix saga and I have to go see this. Yeah. But it. It looks promising. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I, I, I'm not 100% a fan of it. I think they're trying to shove in the storyline, but mm -hmm. we haven't had a lot of time with these actors playing these parts, mm -hmm. so the progression of the Dark Phoenix saga could have that effect on us like it does when we read in the comics with Jean Grey. Interesting to take her back to being a child. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that's something they made up or if they borrowed that storyline from the books, because mm -hmm. obviously in the books, or in the original Dark Phoenix story, there's nothing to do with Professor X. Isn't, mm -hmm. It isn't her, his fault at all. This seems like... They're constantly, you know, all this whole series is constantly blaming Professor X. And even Magneto getting that line, oh, you always make a mistake and there's a speech and nobody listens. Well, same thing for you there, Eric. You're always making speeches. You're always uh, making mistakes and trying to get people to agree with you. So yeah. it's just, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. It looks like something like, because he's like suppressing the memory yeah, of yeah, her yeah. being the re reason why her own parents 
died. Right, and, right. And so this is going to rest a lot on uh, mm-hmm. Sophie Turner yeah. as as Jean Grey. Who's not in it a lot in the trailer. Just shots mm-hmm. of her doing things. Mm-hmm. But there's not a lot of extended conversations or scenes. So that's interesting to me. Yeah, maybe she's isolated in this yeah. film. Where, yeah. she, where she's, you know, dealing with the, the pain. It just, yeah. Uh, February 14th is an interesting date, though, yeah. for a movie like this. I don't think... They're just dumping it, man. <laughs> you, or, or it could be the Black Panther thing where they think they've hit the last two Februarys mm-hmm. with good with uh, good uh, responses to movies. Deadpool, uh, Black Panther, and maybe this one as well. Yeah, definitely because Deadpool, you know, hit it big the mm-hmm. first time. They, but then they moved it to yeah. all the way to uh, what was it uh, to May? I yeah. Think? And so maybe they thought maybe they they should have kept it in that February yeah, who knows? time because you know they they were more successful with the mm-hmm. first one. So. That's for sure. All right, uh, yeah, so that's what we <laughs> thought of the Dark Phoenix, uh, the first trailer. Then let us know what you think. Do you think this trailer bodes well for them doing the Dark Phoenix saga correctly or mm. right or faithfully? Right. Or do you think like this is just, you know, because of the situation right now you know, with Fox and Disney and Disney right. buying Fox, but at the same time, they still have to operate right. as normal. They've right. already invested millions and millions of dollars into this movie mm-hmm. and they can't just... Scrap it, even yeah. if Disney is coming along to, you know, change what, like, this This is it's probably the last X-Men movie we're going to see yeah. in the the Fox universe. Yeah, and yeah, so, yeah. even still, they've, they, they, they've invested money, they got to yeah. try and make their money back. I think that's why This Is The End, the uh, a version or remake of The Doors song is mm-hmm. playing underneath this whole trailer, because it's essentially saying... This is the end of this version of the X Men. Yeah, cool. Uh, where can people find you? <laughs> oh, you can find me at the Roca says on Twitter and on Instagram. And you can find me on Twitter at Thinkhero on Instagram Dennis And uh, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, youtubecom slash Collider I've seen evil, and I'm looking at it now.